by Central here in set two. Uh, I want to apologize to our <laughs> viewers. We lost internet connection here at Monroeville. I think they had a, a timer or something on it, but we're back. And once again, this is just a back and forth match going on here. 9-8 the score. Dug up by McDougal. Off the block and down. Kennedy Deppin makes it 10-8. I think that one even caught Deppin by surprise a little bit. Didn't put much on that one. Don't even know if, if either foot left the ground there. I think she was just trying to send it over, but pinballed around, and now she steps back to serve. Short serve by Deppin. In system. Over to Biglin. Kept alive. Let ball, and it finishes. New London back to within one, 10-9. So here's the situation. Well, if we went down for a little bit, what you missed was what you've seen the entire night. Yes, absolutely. Teams continue to trade point for point. Lisa Capel, Liza Capel Hafner, cheering loud from New Washington Road. Go Bucks! Welcome. Huge Ooh. block. Buckeye Central's going to keep it alive. It'll be a free ball. Sounded like it about popped the ball. Dink down the middle. McDougal, back line, stays alive. We play on. Back set, off the block and out. Buckeye Central at the point, 11-9. And, you know, a few hits before that, I think Spicer was a little bit upset, kind of looked back at that line and realized, ah, maybe I should have let that last one fly out. But nonetheless, they'll get the ball right back into the net. Eleven ten, Buckeye Central leads here in set number two. They won 27-25 in the first set. Down the line, but just out. And we're tied at 11. That one probably about four to five inches from being in, but just took a bounce. Little too much curvature on that one. Mm -hmm. And now New London takes the lead. Timeout, Buckeye Central as they try to regroup. And you know, I like a timeout call right here early into the match. Sometimes, well, mo more often than not in a lot of the matches we've watched, which every coach has a different philosophy, you'll see them let them play out. Like let's look, for example, Omen Roville, Coach Snook often lets the girls um, continue to just fight through adversity and play. I don't think one's better than the other, but in this particular scenario, I like the timeout call here. Um, get them a little breather. You're about halfway through set two and see if they can't go back out and go on a run. Here's a look at the Firelands Conference final standings. Tonight's host, Monroeville, undefeated 14-0. Western Reserve finished second, 12-2. St. Paul, 10-4. Then you have New London and South Central at 7-7. Seven seven. Monroeville nearly had a tie with Western Reserve. They, they won in three really tough sets at Western, and then Western had a 2-0 lead on Monroeville here at the MAC. Monroeville fights back, wins three straight. It's wild. And finishes undefeated in conference play. Down the middle, off the block, and down. And not to disregard what's going on here, folks, but as Travis mentioned earlier, anyone who is interested in maybe pulling up a second screen tonight and checking out Port Clinton and Lexington, looks like it might have just been a little bit I of think, a delayed start. I think start. The, first, the first match must have went five. So that is live up on our main YouTube channel, also on our Facebook page. So grab your other device. 
That's my, this is my first look actually at the new gym at the new Lexington High School, and it's pretty wow. nice. That's that's a cool that's a cool arena. 13-12. New London Leeds. You know what else is a cool arena? This this place. This place. Uh, I was the Mac. It is a beautiful facility. You know, up here on his balcony, it's where the the, the uh, wrestling team practices. As that joust goes to the way of New London. And you know, I, the first time we were located here for a stream, I was a little bit pessimistic not sure how it was going to work out but it's honestly turning into a pretty great spot to, to take in a game i really love this gym and this atmosphere back at you buckeye central yeah this is this is a great great venue but we're not uh, going to complain to steelers fans all the black and yellow around this either oh, absolutely it's perfect down here wildcats by one make it two 15-13, great swing there by Bowens. Lady Wildcats in a similar simul sim situation, situation to what the Buckets were in set one with an opportunity to try and you know grow a lead. McDougal gives her best effort to try and stop that. That's gonna be saved though. Wow. She'll get another swing at it though. Dinks sit down. So that's perfect for her. After the big swing the first time around, second time she's set up the same way. They're thinking she's going to go hard at it, and then just a little touch over top catches them off guard. Yeah, the change of pace because Gracie Thomas did a great job for New London keeping the play alive. So you got to bring your next trick when you go up to strike. So a nice job of her just to use the dink in that situation. Deppin gets it over. Right back at Buckeye Central. McDougal down the middle. Yep, we're tied. Things starting to charge back up on the near side for the ladies in red and white tonight. 15-15, set number two. Buckeye Central leads one set to none. Free ball back to New London. and it'll be returned right back to Buckeye Central. McDougal down the middle, too strong. Saw the instant frustration on her face, knew that time that she just put too much power on that ball in particular. Clearly though, the standout player for Buckeye Central tonight has really had a lot of control and a lot of push in this comeback they've made in set two. Blocked. Wow. Kept alive, though, and pushed over. <laughs> Reflexes. I mean, goodness. Deppin pushes it across, but it's a double hit. What a wild scenario and, and transition of hits we had there. Reflexes is right, as you said. I think it was a lot of just swinging and hope you, you know, you're going to get the ball over the net. Absolutely. 17-15. Deppin again off the block. Stays up. Quick change of pace. Joust, yummy, yes. 3-0 run for New London as Wilson finishes it off. I would imagine that, that Paley Wilson there would agree that that's the ideal situation that 99.9% .9 of the time she's going to connect on. Does a great job extending the lead to three. And the Buckets answer. Not quite. Four point New London lead. Timeout, Buckets. 1915. So, Hayden, this point last set was when we saw the run from the Buckets, but now New London able to keep that away and they continue to hold a 1915 lead once yeah. again want to welcome everybody in we apologize for the little cut out there momentarily at the eight o'clock hour but uh, I think uh, there's a time limit on the Wi-Fi here <laughs> at the Mac <laughs> but we're back on thanks to a hotspot 
provided by Hayden Gray. So thank everybody thank Hayden <laughs> for keeping this live. But it seems like everybody's back watching. So once again, give us a shout out. Let us know where you're watching from. Liza's watching from New Washington Road. Who else? There's 60 of you watching on Facebook. 30 of you on YouTube. Don't be shy. You know what that's called? Hmm. That's called filler. Cool. Cool. <laughs> even though you're, he's looking at his phone, uh, not even, well, not I'm, even just, I'm making sure right everything's now. working here on this side. I mean, I'm kind of in disbelief. A timer exists on Wi-Fi, nonetheless. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Am if it's I? a, this I don't is know. like it's a public. It could be a public I Wi-Fi that you know, because this is a public gym. It's not just the high school's gym. It's the gym for Th all that, of Monroeville. That's true. It's the Monroeville Athletic Center, Mac. Yep. Big Lynn off the block, stays alive. Swing down the middle. McDougal's there. Deppin this time tries the back line. Saved and a free ball. Big Lynn. Yes. Woo. Into the seventh row. It's 19-17. That one skyrocketed up into the rafters of the Mac as we had that nice long rally right out of the timeout. Now Buckeye Central will hand it right back over. Into the net goes McDougal. Marin with the service error. New London five points away. Jocelyn with the serve. In system, Biglin. But into the net. 20 to 18. I just have a feeling, Hayden, 25 points is not going to be enough again in this set. I mean, I, I don't keep it out of the realm of possibility, but right now both Okay, teams. Kennedy Deppin might have just, you know, I'm sorry, Kennedy. Both teams struggling to get the ball over the net. So by default, we may just climb up to that 25-point mark. Thomas to serve. Gets it over. Nearly an ace. It's free ball. In system. Big swing too strong, though. 21-19. Small form of discussion, but now... It was the one mistake made by this line judge tonight. He, he didn't know which team had yeah. to serve, threw it the wrong way. Yeah, must and be it's an terrible ace. to make. And if that's only the only that mistake, mistake he yeah, makes, right? then he is completely yeah. fine. Buckets now with a chance to tie it up is McDougal. Like Mara it? with the ace. She's been solid back there this evening. But New London answers right back. Bowens. Huge opportunity here for Wilson to give her team a comfortable edge. McDougal. Yeah. Woo. Perfectly in system. She didn't have to move that much. Yeah. The, I think the other reason it gives you shades of Maddie Daniels is she, Maddie Daniels loves that, that side of the court as well. So just every time, everyone sent right over there with all that speed. Blocked, stays alive. Second chance off the block. Chance for Buckeye Central to tie. McDougal dinks it over. New London, can they get the lead back to two? They can't. Over to the left side, swung off the block, stays alive and back over. Stayed on the right side of the antenna. McDougal with the dink, yes, wow. we're tied. Now New London going to snag a timeout. 22-22. And just like the first set, best of three, win by two. The ability to come back in these first two sets by Buckeye Central has been very, very good. I'm telling you, you know, both these teams – are so misleading with um, 
if you're a person that doesn't look any deeper than the surface. So if you just saw their records, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but if you just saw their records, you'd think, eh, okay, well, subpar year for both these teams. I mean, what they're doing right now and what we have going on in front of us is two teams that are really, really good. And, and like I said earlier, probably had their past not collided this early, would both be going beyond the sectional championship. Hello to Amanda Pace cheering on the buckets from Lydell Road. Also Tony on YouTube. Let's go Kimmy and the rest of the buckets. Thank you all for watching live and free this evening. Twenty-two all. Free ball. Buckets will have a chance to take the lead back here. McDougal off the block, stays alive. Joust stays up. Another chance for Buckeye Central. McDougal pushes it over. In system. Blocked and down, but alive. Finally, wow. New London. Chaos all over. And I mean, Mia McDougal, you not to take away from the woman's point, but she kind of single-handedly trying to keep that possession, should you say, alive, that rally. But New London does an excellent job. Buckeye Central right back, 23-23. Now it is the first to get two straight will take set two. That one just out, wow. set point New London. Opportunity now to notch things at one set apiece. Short serve in system. McDougal, backslide. We're tied again. We will have extra volleyball I mean, for the second straight set. You don't want to say predictable yet, but you know that they had to go to her. The system was going to play to her in that situation, and she executed perfectly. Back set off the block, stays alive. Buckets to take the lead. Deppen blocked, stays in line. McDougal swing, dug up. Wow. And just, that was just a hit to try and get it back yeah. over. Thomas somehow gets the point, and again, set point, New London. She's been playing so well, even in situations where Thomas has. Uh, where the ball has kind of exited that standard area of play. She's had to get it over with some tough angles and has just continued to excel in that area tonight. Emily Rowland now to serve for the set. S almost got the ace. Instead, it's in system. McDougal dinks it. We're tied again. I mean, we continue to play this cat and mouse game, Travis. And as you predicted, going to need more than 25. Just call me. The Oracle. <laughs> no. You have enough nicknames already. That one's out of bounds. Too strong on Buckeye Central with a chance to take their second consecutive 27-25 set. But a timeout, New London. Turkey all over. <laughs> uh, let, oh. me get, let me get your uh, thoughts on this set so far, Garrett, our oh, cameraman. Oh, hey. Dude, it's been a back hey, and forth battle. Uh, what's up, Hayden? Uh, but <laughs> yeah, not, not, you know, not like the first game that we had out here. The first match that we had where Morova really just commanded the entire game. This one's been back and forth. Both sets, you know, coming down to some extra volleyball. Thank you, thank you, Garrett Parlett, our, our courtside reporter tonight, running all the way down to give that to us, and then coming back up. So we admire. What kind of speed I got? <laughs> He's we a speedy man. You, man. 26-25 Buckeye Central set point out of this timeout. Let's see. It'll be Marin McDougal who will have the opportunity to serve the youngest McDougal on this Buckeye Central's varsity squad. Just a freshman. 56 aces on the year. Doesn't get it that time. Dinked over. Buckets for the set. Block stays alive. McDougal again pushes it up. New London will have a chance to tie now. Blocked, stays alive, back over to Buckeye Central. 
Biglin from behind her head. It stays up, but out. Buckeye Central wow. comes back to take it again. 27-25, they lead two sets to none. They only need one more set victory out of the next three to take a sectional championship. We'll take a break. Be back with set three live and free on the OH Report. Buckeye Central leads after back-to-back 27-25 -back set victories. Travis Berardi alongside Hayden Gray. Shout out Phil Loy, Buckeye Central AD, sitting down below us. Said hello to us just a little bit ago. That was a fun trip down for state basketball, wasn't it? Hanging it, out with the Buckeyes. It was. So no pressure on Buckeye Central or, or any of the basketball teams in the area to make it down there again this year uh, so we can go have the same fun we did. Last season. Can I make a prediction right now? Hmm. Clear Fork dropping down the D3. If they can get past okay. Margareta, they'll have a chance, I think. All right. Don't sleep on Buckeye Central either. I think they, they're still the district favorites. Yeah. They have some pieces back. G Man with a uh, <laughs> <Garrett> prediction. <laughs> He's going to eat about three pounds of turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, G. Probably <laughs> McDonald's. Okay. Well, for any of you volleyball junkies out there, uh, give you a score update from set one, uh, which is in timeout over in Lexington. Port Clinton up 16-14 on Lady Lex right now. So that would be a bit of a upset alert in set one. Nice rally here to open up set number three. McDougal down the middle. Overpass, they'll get another chance. Back set, blocked, stays alive, pushed over. McDougal again from the middle. Camp fireball. It's 1 0 Buckeye Central. Or as Storm Blunchley would say, fire pit ball. Yeah, I think that's the first one we got to encounter tonight, and you watch it perfectly. I mean, look, every single player on the court uh, for New London yeah, just couldn't congregate quick enough. That's the first campfire, not by miscommunications. That's yes, the net. That was actually a perfectly placed dink. Execution on behalf of Buckeye Central, right? Almost 100 people watching tonight. Thank you all for watching live and free right here on the OH Report. Yeah, Starts off awesome. a busy weekend for us, too. Yeah. <laughs> football Friday night, tomorrow okay. night, week yeah. number 10 of the high school football season. Yeah, I Make guess sure I could have expanded on it more than yeah. yeah. Make sure to tune in to the Friday night pigskin tomorrow night, 1130, live and free on the OH Report. We'll break down all of our games that we had live and free in highlights as well as scores from all around the areas. That's crushed by Bowens to tie it at two. 
Uh, we'll have scores from all around the area, and then I will break down who made it into the postseason, who did not, thanks to the great Joe Idol. I'll have that at the end of the show. Yes. And then Sunday, 11 a.m., the bracket breakdown. We will break down every single team from the area that's made the made the playoffs. We'll break down your brackets. We'll have some interviews with coaches, uh, highlight some players, much more. That's Sunday, 11 a.m. before the Browns play. And an, an error on Buckeye Central. Is it a lineup error issue with the lineup? I think was it was. Or was he just doing a check? Yes. No. Oh, it was. He said it was his fault. So All right. We're gonna replay. And there we go. Too. Look how quick and efficient it was. Realized he made the mistake. Embraced it. We play on. Absolutely. That's. And that's not a referee just trying to hide it and be like, oh, no, I didn't uh -huh. do anything wrong. No, that's good. No. That is good. You're owning yeah. up to your mistakes, you're making it quickly, and you're back at it. Now, I'm curious. They haven't adjusted the scoreboard in the building yet, but. I think asking to remove the point now. So, yeah, two yeah, thumbs up. That was a correction. replay of the point. Yeah, I think they'll take that away. Is that one? Yep, there we go. Our scoreboard was correct, though. Travis stays on top of things. Our producer did, not me. Oh, wait, I am the producer. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Crazy with technology, how you can call a game, yeah. produce. I've seen people actually call game, produce, and run camera. No, thank you. Don't get. Don't be given any ideas. No, no, it's 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 very hard. <laughs> I produced and ran camera before. That's hard. Yeah, that's also a terrible combination. But you know what? It's not hard. Commenting on Facebook and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Sharon Snipes watching. Hello, Sharon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Woo! Big block. 4-3 New London. Rianne Mitchell. Steps back to the line to serve. Excuse me. Madison Rowland. See, that was quick. You, you adjusted yep, your mistake yep, real yep. quick. You got right back at it. We're good. The, the the jersey's a little bit hard to read. The number's so small. That block nearly stayed in, but it did not. So Buckeye Central ties things up at four. Yeah, I can't wait for the next time out just so we can get G-Man's perspective from the floor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll have to make another quick run down there. But that that's what makes the sideline reporter the sideline reporter. If he talked from up here, it would be no good. Biglin's blocked. She'll get another chance. And Ooh. this time, fireball back line. Boom. It's one of those you can watch it coming at you, and I don't know if your reflexes will physically allow you to stop it quick enough. 5-4 Buckeye Central, make that 6-4. Obviously a win here would allow Buckeye Central to sweep the match and advance on and take home in Roeville, but a lot of the times, and I know we're in a tournament now, so mindset's going to be different, but you'll see teams begin to fold who go down 0-2. I know that Buckeye Central just expands the lead there, but, you know, we haven't seen – you don't see any heads down for New London. You don't see any bad attitudes. They're fighting. Um, they would love to obviously force a fourth set, so. Absolutely. You will see fight. In I've, every team that you see this point forward. Deppin just too strong, 7-5. And I just noticed we do have the schedule for Football Friday night, so we have a chance to show you that tomorrow, as well as the bracket. Because who doesn't love a good bracket? Going to have lots of brackets in your future over the yep. next few days. I'll be having nightmares by the end of the month. <laughs> brackets. A low serve. Blocked. Biglin <laughs> placed it down the line. I don't know if she even meant to do that the way she reacted. 
No, it looked like she almost wanted she to looked, go okay. cross court with it, but kept on a nice vertical path, stayed in. Eight to five. Back set. Blocked and down. Who else? Kimmy Biglin. She's really excelling and standing out here in this third set, and that's just the thing we, we've almost talked about. Well, we've talked about several different players several different times throughout the sets, but just showing the uh, balanced roster that Buckeye Central has this season. Buck gets with its largest lead of the night. Oh, here's your timeout, G-Man go. Let's head it down to G-Man and his report. Yeah, Trav, down here, you know, it's, uh, it's getting a little rowdy. Buckeye Central, you know, the momentum is starting to build for them, Trav. They're trying to pull away here and finish this at a three-set sweep. But let's see if the Wildcats got anything to say about it. Now, Trav, I'll leave you with this one before I go. How many teams do you think, you know, the percentage-wise are able to win three straight and win that decisive fifth set, at least force one? I'd have to say Monroeville because they've done it before. <laughs> it's funny because oh, uh, – Storm Blunchley and I were down at Centerburg for the Freddie Berg game, and it was three to one. It was two one at the time, and Storm said, "Hey, has it, is it rare that teams come back and win?" I said, "I don't. It's very hard." That night was the night that Monroeville <laughs> came back from two zero to beat Western Reserve. As you take a look at the bracket, this is the lower point of the bracket. Winner Seneca East South Central and St. Paul Lucas will face each other in the seven thirty matchup on Tuesday at Willard. And here is your bracket. Buckeye Central, New London will take on Monroeville at six o'clock Tuesday at Willard. And you'll probably see it live and free. Pretty sure we're gonna have that live and free for you both matches on Tuesday on the OH Report. Yeah, that would definitely be another night uh, full of great volleyball. I think taking a look at both, you know, both portions of the bracket there have some really exciting matchups some potential rematches that could be set up. So re really very interesting region in the bracket. Kennedy Deppin with the double dink. 11-6. Yeah, it's going to be district soccer, district volleyball next week, live and free on the OH Report. And then we'll finish it off with a little first round football playoff action Friday night. And Saturday, district championships in soccer. Yeah, that's the thing we talked about on the drive over here, Travis. This really kicks off um, a great time of the year if you're someone that looks for a bit more competitive or a bit closer of contests across all sports. Uh, everyone in the postseason now, obviously other than football, who will finish out the regular season tomorrow night. So uh, the stakes are higher, and I think that brings the best out of teams. You said stake? Uh <laughs> S T A K E S. Okay, okay. okay. I like the other, other stakes good. Overpass turns into a point for New London. They're down three. I will try and get a score of the other side of the bracket. Who won those matches? Try and keep you updated on that, folks. Who else is going to Willard? High set. Too strong, 12-8. Just too much from Thomas that time. Who I mentioned earlier has played really nice for New London this evening. And I like the leadership being displayed there too from Emily Rowland, trying to rally the troops. The Wildcats just down four points, but they have to win this set to keep things alive. And that's a good start by Wilson. Three seniors on the varsity roster for New London this season. So, obviously, it's win or go home. No one wants to see their season end. So, those ladies continue to try and fight. Big rally. New London with a chance to get back in it. Cross shot stays alive. Jury across. Sometimes you just use your Ooh. body to keep it alive. Yeah, that <laughs> came more off of Colleen's face. And into anything, the net, but so it paid off. It does. 
Grace Colleen. Serve from Mara McDougal. Big swing and a finish by Wilson. 13-10. Paley, just a ninth grader on this new London squad. Another player who's played excellent for them this evening, despite my announcer jinx on the serve. It's a service error. 14-10, Buckettes lead. Grace now to serve. That kept alive. Deppen to the back line. Blocked and down, 14-11. So they're still hovering within three points. Just need a piece together once they get the ball in their possession. They've got to try and go on one of those runs that's allowed Buckeye Central to have the success tonight and piece together these victories. They've got to have one of their own or they're going to be able to un or unable to catch up. And it's two in a row. Fourteen, twelve. Here comes that run by New London. McDougal. Big shot. Can it be saved? Wow. Yep. Great effort there from the Wildcats. McDougal blocked and down. New London within one. Hustle. That's what gets you points in a sectional championship. Double block, it's one point set. 14, 13, and a chance to tie things up. Roland. And I jinxed her, I'm so sorry. 15, 13. Good change changes. of pace, yeah. but just out. I like the idea, but just a little too much on it. Yeah, it's one of those that it, it kind of, you know, you're doing it to try and catch the defense off guard. It looks like you may try, you know, and set it up for your teammate, but really you're launching it over that net. McDougal with the save. Deppin pushes over. Back set, swing, cross shot, stays alive. Grace there with it. Biglin to the corner. Dinked over, campfire finishes at 16-14. 16-14 on the Sutton Bank scoreboard, Buckeye Central. Nine points away from a sectional championship and a date with the Lady Eagles of Monroeville in the district semi next week, 17-14 now. Again, earlier this season when they met up, I need to go back and look at what the, the set scores of that matchup were. Um, obviously played here at Monroeville, but Buckeye Central probably, you know, they, they've experienced a lot since that too. Um, that was just a little bit after the midway point in the season, kind of in between the halves of your conference play. And I think they definitely probably have had a lot of time to think about that one and, and have worked to close the gap. 17-15 the score. In system, Biglin blocked. McDougal pushes it over. Dinked, stays alive. And the Buckets get the point back, they're up three. Deppin will step back to serve for Buckeye Central. And that's an ace. Haven't seen many of those in this match so far, but that's a big one for Kennedy Deppin. That ball stayed somewhat low and didn't have a ton of rotation, so nice job from Deppin 
An to overpass. catch the London off guard. Biglin, yes. 20 to 15, Buckeye Central feeling it. They need five to finish it off. This is where it, it uh, a mentality for both sides. Buckeye Central, you want to finish out strong, get the job done, New London. This can go really quick or you can draw it out, you know, if you keep your head up and try and keep battling. Pushed over in system. Biglin dinks it, blocked. McDougal off the block and out. 21-15. And it got really quiet. It in did. Here it did. That was probably the most quiet since we arrived here this evening. Actually, not when we arrived. The Monroeville team was yeah, it singing wasn't quiet as they all, always actually. do before no. their game. So the quietest we've seen. Joust goes to Buckeye Central. They're three points away. And we're going to get a timeout by New London. Let's send it down to G. Hey, Trav. Uh, you know, Buckeye Central trying to close this one out. They're so close, just three points away from taking this one in a three-set sweep. I don't know if anybody expected this after the way, you know, the first two sets went. You know, it was a back-and-forth affair. But New London, you know, this is kind of their last gasp here. We'll see if they're able to come out here and respond and force a fourth set. Thank you, Garrett. Now get back upstairs and uh, – Run some camera. Here's the schedule for Friday night, football Friday night. Our live games, five of them, six of them actually. No, we'll have five. Lexington at Ashland, live and free. Mapleton at Crestview, live and free. The Freddie Bird game, live and free. Danville at East Knox, Devil Dog, live and free. And Galleon at River Valley, live and free. Hopefully they are having some internet issues, but we hope that's going to be resolved. Yes, I'll personally be at the River Valley game. We will let you know what we find out as tomorrow progresses. Then the city game, Mansfield Senior Madison, a highlight. Ontario Shelby, the playing game per se, a highlight. As that's into the net. And Clear Fork Highland for the MOAC Championship. That as well will be a highlight. And also don't give too much attention to the one soccer match you saw. We will have three highlights. Van Buren at Mansfield Christian Boys Soccer. Tiffin Columbia at Ontario Girls Soccer on Saturday. And then finally Madison against Lexington Soccer. That's girls all on Saturday. So three highlights to look forward to. No volleyball this Saturday because all of it's being played now. Yeah. They start the sectional. They usually try and get Tuesday, Thursday, There's a few Monday, Wednesday for stuff. Yeah, but soccer. Soccer is the weekend sport. New London out of the timeout. They're starting to fight back. 22-18. Set for McDougal. Dinks it over. Great adjustment by Wilson. The run continues in Buckeye Central. Missy McDougal will call a timeout. So let's take a look at the full Willard District bracket. Still trying to get a Seneca East South Central score via the social media. I haven't seen it yet. Buck and drop a comment if you know that St. Paul anyway. Lucas is going on right now. We had Monroeville advance earlier with the sweep of Mansfield Christian. They will get the winner of this one. Both matches Tuesday at Willard High School. First match at 6, second at 7.30. You can watch those matches live and free on the OH Report. Our other gave, match. We gave G a break. Yeah. He was a little winded after that first report, so he's he's good. Our other match going on tonight, Lexington was able to fight back. They did take set one against Port Clinton. They're in the middle of set two right now. Free ball. Back over. Swing. And in between the two back liners, it's 22-20. The run continues for New London. I told you, man, if, if you don't hang your head down, there, there's no reason. We've seen the way the first two sets have gone. You know both teams who have trailed 
getting their match point. Could have had a chance there on the overpass, but instead Biglin swings at it, comes right back. She'll get another attempt. Dink, campfire, yes. 23-20. Just taking advantage of that back line, playing back a bit far, the libero, trying to protect the back, and can you blame them? I mean, McDougal all night long with the exception of a few dinks, has really been skyrocketing things back there. Kimmy Biglin's really stepped up in this third set. A postseason. It's a condensation, condensation break. break. Yes. God. Haven't used that in a couple weeks. No, I, I am so happy. We haven't had that opportunity in a while. But as I was saying, Biglin has been a huge yeah. piece of this offense for... Buckeye Central in this third set. As they're trying to hold off New London here. You got to think New London probably needs a 4-0 run to finish this off. Crossed over. McDougal blocked. Stays alive. McDougal again dinks. Overpass, Yummy Jow stays up. Pushed back over, Buckeye Central. McDougal, yes! Match point, Buckets. They just kept at it until finally they were able to finish. Mara with a chance to end this right here. Let's see if she can do it. Or if New London has a little bit of life left. In system. They dry that one off, 24-22. They need two more. Wilson to serve. In system, McDougal dinks it, stays alive. And it's out, and that's it. Buckeye Central. A hard-fought sweep of New London. They take it. Three sets to none. We'll take a break and be back with our MVP right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball live and free tournament volleyball on the OH Report. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa.
What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs>for our North Central State College MVP and it is Buckeye Central junior middle hitter Kimmy Biglin. Congratulations Kimmy on another sectional championship. Uh, it was a hard fought match first of all. 27-25, 27-25 and then 25-23. You had to come back in all three. Just uh, what did you guys do to get the, the comeback in each of the sets to get the victory? I think we all really wanted to take this win, and I think every single set, obviously, we had some ups and downs, but I think at the end of the day, we knew that we had to come together, we had to work hard, and we just had to keep playing. Um, another sectional championship means another rematch with Monroeville. You lost to them in three sets, three competitive sets here early on in the year. What did you learn from that match that you can take into Tuesday's match against them? Um, they, have, they have some great hitters. I mean, all around, they're a really strong offense, defense, they're an aggressive team. Um, I think we can't get in our heads. I think every year we kind of get in our heads a little bit and we take that um, take that personally and I think that kind of gets to us. But I think this year we got to come in strong. I mean, just play how we can play. Uh, you know, we covered you basketball season, yeah. your state final four run. I was talking to you about that before we come back on the air. But uh, how important is it being able to, you know, play a sport outside of your season saying if you're a volleyball player, you're playing basketball, just to keep you in shape and, you know, keep that, uh, you know, keep yourself in shape for whatever season you're playing? It's a lot, um, a lot of back and forth. I mean, you got to make sure you're ready for both sports, especially, you know, with um, Coach Capel. <laughs> uh, he saw, yes, he has I know. high yes. standards. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, it's all you got to always make sure, like, even in off season, like, during volleyball, you know, he wants us, you know, get ready for season, get ready, like, you know, take that time you have, extra time, you know, run, do that extra stuff to be in condition. Uh, and finally, the McDougals are really good volleyball players yeah, along with you. Absolutely. Just uh, how nice is it having so many players that can get you points at any time? I think I think it's awesome. I mean, it's it's really nice. I mean, they all have um, their own unique skills and they have they each, you know, have their own individual skills and that really helps us come together, at, you know, times when we need it. And I mean, it's it's great. I mean, it's great. All right. And finally, as always, you know, look into the camera, give anybody a shout out you like go for it. Um Shout out to my team. <laughs> Probably shout out Coach Capel, too, yeah, for Coach talking K. about him. Also. Thank you, Kimmy. Tonight's MVP brought to you by North Central State College, and good luck next week in districts. All right, thank you. There you have it, Kimmy Biglin from the victorious Buckets. They win it three sets to none, 27-25, 27-25, 25-23. New London, they finish the season at 11 and 12, while Buckeye Central, the fourth seed, moves on to Tuesday. Six o'clock against Monroeville at Willard. We'll have it for you live and free. And speaking of live and free, tomorrow, five live and free football games coming your way as well as 
the Friday Night Pigskin at 11.30. And then Sunday, 11 a.m., the football bracket breakdown. But that will do it for us. We will break down from here. I want to thank everybody that helped make things possible. Garrett Parlett, sideline reporter slash cameraman, Hayden Gray on color. Everybody back at the OH Report, BS Media Productions, Adam Thompson, Brian Skaronski, Jory Hollenbeck, Storm Blunchley, scoreboard sponsor, Sutton Bank, replay sponsor, North Central State College, as well as the MVP spo game, post game sponsor. You can sponsor that. Give us a shout out. S commercial sponsor, Sutton Bank, as well as North Central State College. I want to thank the folks here at Monroeville High School, the athletic department, for allowing us to be here, as well as the OHSAA. But most importantly, we want to thank you, the fans, for watching. The Buckets, three highly tough fought victories. They move on to districts to take on Monroeville. For Hayden Graham, Travis Berardi saying so long.